a couple of examples where people use the a couple of example where people use the ah, a couple of examples where people use the rule of third is when they took A couple of examples where people use the rule of third is when they take landscape photos. They use the lower part of the lower third. A couple of example, a couple of examples. Uh, a couple of examples where people use the lower. Uh, a couple of example where people use the rule of. Como que está hidrado, en serio. Pero en otra bon, en otra bay fluyen, en otra, en otra cinta, en no tiene, no tiene un sauce, no tiene nada, es como un blend, no tiene nada, no tiene un curpa. En otra, en otra cinta digo que es como laf. No tiene nada, no tiene nada, no tiene nada. Wow. Watching this video again is really, it's really weird and inspiring at the same time because this was my first tutorial that I did and my first video in English. I wasn't really nervous. I wanted to do it right. I wanted to do it good. I put a lot of pressure on myself to do the first video like perfect. I wanted to put out the first perfect video in English, first perfect tutorial. And every time I messed up, I kept punching myself mentally. Like, you have to do this and you have to do it right. Why are you keep messing up? At some point, I wanted to like give up. I wanted to like stop filming the video because it wasn't really going the way I wanted. Like, like I had it in my mind, right? So um, it was hard. I was, I, was, I was being really hard on myself. I did uh, end up finishing the video though because uh, when I start something, I don't really like like to give up. I really uh, finish things that I start even if they are hard. I finish stuff. So I ended up finishing the video, edited it and I put it out and it was the first tutorial. After that, I kept making videos because I really wanted to do YouTube. I really wanted to make videos. I really wanted to you know put my knowledge out and start a youtube channel so that's why i kept making videos after that even though i didn't like the first video i didn't feel like the first video was a good video so i kept pushing i wanted to reach 50 videos on my channel and i wanted to reach 10,000 views on the channel so that was my goal for 2020 so i can keep putting videos out because maintaining a channel is harder than starting one in my opinion i reached the 50 videos uh, last week when i put out uh, my video where i was you know uh, putting that shelf together and you know organizing my room i reached the 50 50th video i was proud of it i am proud of it for putting out 50 videos as of now i have 9000 and like 500 views on my channel so i am going to reach that 10000 views this year lately i've been thinking about what is success and what defines success because when people ask me oh you have a youtube channel how many subscribers do you have and i'd be like i have like uh, 195 and they'd be like oh okay but you you can hear that oh so your channel is not that big and I get that. I mean, 195 can be not of a big number for certain people. But for me, it is big. It is big. So uh, I think success is what you think success is. If you set a goal and you reach it, you are successful. Everybody has their own goals. Everybody has their own path. You just have to find your own. I have learned a lot in the past year. I have failed a lot in the past year. I'm still failing but I love it. You know, you put out a video, you think this is gonna reach like a 200 views and it reaches 30 views and you put out a video and you're like, nah, this, this is not gonna get too much views and it gets a lot of views. So, but that's YouTube, right? Uh, you know, I love it. You know, you just have to fail 
if you're watching this video and you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I have like five tips from stuff that I learned in this past year. My first tip is to think about why you wanna do YouTube. It is very important for you to think about why you wanna do this. I mean, you don't have to know what you wanna do, but you gotta have an idea of why you wanna do YouTube. Because if you don't know, you're, you, you, you don't have like a, like a goal, you don't have something to work towards to. So think about why you wanna do YouTube. That's very important. My second tip or like heads up is, uh, you're gonna fail a lot. You're gonna fail a lot before you find something that works for you. Just keep trying different stuff, keep trying new stuff till you find something that works for you. Tip number three is you gotta have patience. Fame doesn't happen overnight. For some people, it does, but not for all of us. So you gotta have patience when you wanna do YouTube. Tip number four is fail, learn, repeat. Just fail learn from it and do it again all right last but not least is make sure you're having fun if you're not having fun you're not gonna enjoy making youtube videos so just make sure whatever you talk about that you're having fun doing it a little side note before i leave two days ago when i was celebrating my birthday uh one of my subscribers recognized me on the street which is like mind-blowing i didn't like expect someone to like recognize me on the street um Shout out to you. I appreciate you watching these videos and subscribing to my channel. I want to finish this video by leaving a message for my future self. Whenever you feel like giving up, just don't. You made it to 50 videos. Let's go for 100.